right, so the first exercise is the bent over dumbbell row. I'm using 45s for this and I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter about the weight. What matters is extending it and then fully contracting the muscle. When you're doing this, this is going to work your lats, which is your back, and that's how you build that illusion that you have a small waist. And then it's going to build your biceps. See, this is one thing for me that like I would engage both of them and some people don't do that. Some people just engage their lats, but I really wanted to build my biceps as well. So I use this as a compound movement to like, you know, work both muscles. So if I were you, I would definitely try to engage both of them when you're pulling up and fully extending down. When you extend down, that's when you go are going to be engaging the lats and stretching them out. So when you pull up, it really contracts them and make sure you focus on that. This is where I started building the muscle that eventually helped me build the curves in the hourglass figure that I have today. So after this exercise, you know, you go through, I do 10 reps, um, four sets. Then after this one, I do a similar exercise. This one is on a machine though, so it's not with the dumbbell. And if you are not comfortable doing dumbbells at first, I definitely recommend that you start with this one. So this one is the exact same, but is the upright machine row per side. And I do per side, I do 15, I do a little bit of a lighter weight, I do 42 pounds, and I just really try to engage. This one I engage the same muscle groups to be honest. I use, you know, my lats, but I mainly use my biceps on this one. And this one also really helped me build my biceps. I did not have any biceps before I started doing this workout. So you do 15 of them and you know, you just power through it on each side. It's a total of 30. And you really try to keep a decent posture, but lean back a little bit so that you're actually engaging them and then fully contract it back and forth. Sometimes you can hold it so that then it engages the bicep, but you know, it all it's all about preference and your own personal range of motion. If you see someone doing it differently than you, they might not even be doing it wrong. The next one is the tricep extensions. These are with the cables. I love these. These ones are literally one of the best things ever because what you do is you do, well personally for me, I do a split stance. This helps with my balance and it makes it really easy for me to stand straight, not lose my balance and do heavier weight. So I usually do 25 pounds when I'm doing this, which if you're doing it properly and engaging the tricep, 25 pounds is a lot. And then also I do a burnout. So I do it as many times as possible. And then I go straight into a compound movement. When I do this, so this is the first, well actually it's a superset, I think. No, it would be a compound movement. Either way, I, I train the same muscle group when I do that. So then I go into the next exercise, which is the overhead extension for your tricep. And this is also with the cable curl and I add a little bit more weight. I add an extra five pounds when I'm doing this. But the main thing you wanna realize is you're burning out. So at this point, you are already super fatigued out and you're just pushing through just to get the last bit you possibly can get and the thing is a lot of people you know hit legs and they don't realize the importance of upper body and that's why I do this type of full body workout in the beginning because this is what gave me the results I needed and it was hard for me and then I you up the weight when it starts to get easy the workout should never be easy for you and then uh, you know you guys can see what I'm doing right here I'm just continuing until I'm completely burned out you wanna keep going and then when you're done you just compound it back into the other one and I do three to four sets you take a break and I just stop like that and then this is my leg booty little thing you guys will thank me for this exercise so this is the box squats box squats are literally a lifesaver they will help build your bum your quads and your hamstrings all in one if you have a box it's going to help with your form and not only just your form it's going to help you feel the burn because one thing for me is I always feel like when I'm squatting, I'm using one muscle group over the other. This one, you, you do. Okay. So one thing I do have to say with this one is when you start, you always want to start sitting. Oh, and by the way, you do 15 uh, reps of this, but you always want to sit on it and then find the position. That's like a perfect sitting position, but not sit afterwards. So you sit on it, come up and then just tap your butt at the bottom and you guys can see sometimes you miss the, the box squat I do that a lot and then I end up falling on the ground but make sure that you're in a position where you can sit on it but just tap the seat don't just plop down because then you're not engaging your muscles be slow and controlled and know that 
you have to be feeling it and at the end of it you should feel the burn and the next day you probably won't be able to go up the stairs but it is seriously amazing once you have mastered this you can add weight in sometimes I still don't even add weight because I personally feel this like crazy but the weight is going to help when you get you know better at this exercise and then the last one is for abs and your core so the main thing is make sure you engage your core in all of these exercises but this is the last one where I you know I feel tighter when I do this one and these are just the leg raises and this is really going to engage your core I do 10 reps um, or 30 seconds whichever comes first because I like to be slow and controlled with these and you really just want to feel it so I hope that you guys enjoyed this and if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe I will have the workout in a PDF download for you guys and if you guys are interested it's all at fitsid.com follow me on my socials and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye babes